This is Wilson Morales from BlackFilm.com. I'm here talking to Eric D. Seaton, who's got a new comic book, The Legend of, I'll let you pronounce it. The Mantamaji. <laughs> okay. And he's here at Comic-Con to promote this comic book. So talk to me about what this comic book's about. Legend of Mantamaji is a six-year-in-the-making project. It's a story of Elijah Alexander, who's a young, hip ADA in New York, who finds out he's a Mantamaji, who are members of a race that 3,000 years ago protected us from the forces of evil. He's the last one, and he was put in a sort of suspended animation with his pregnant mother because one of the Mantamaji decided that it was better if man served the Mantamaji and went evil and wiped them all out. So he was put in a suspended animation and woke up here and grew up in America, living a good life, you know, just trying to get ahead, and then finds out that this evil Mantamaji has been resurrected in present day, and he's the only one that can defeat him. What inspired you to write this? Countless years and years of work of directing, I've directed a lot of kid shows, and Disney and Nickelodeon, and just seeing how the genre of sci-fi and fantasy just spawned so many stories and interests. And that's how I grew up. Uh, my, I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. My dad worked out of town. And every Saturday he would come home and take me to take me on his runs with him. And we'd go to a, uh, a comic book shop. And I'd get to get all my comic books. And I'd spend the day reading comic books. And it just always just the fantasy and the adventure would take me on those rides. But I didn't really see people of color. So the book is multicultural, but the lead is African American because I was, would look at these heroes that I grew up loving and wanted them to look like me or be like me. Now every year, I'm, I'm coming to Comic Con, I see a lot of brothers, you know, with comic books, but you don't hear about them. How difficult is it for an African American to sell comic books? It's extremely difficult uh, for one reason, because in the, main, the mainstream books, there's so few characters. So then you come to, you know, the independent books, and people just don't know about it, and they don't, they don't have a, a, a history behind it. And, and the easiest thing I can tell you is, when you create a character now, if you look at Superman, Superman is, I don't know, 75, 85 years old. But when Superman started, he couldn't fly, there was no kryptonite, and there was no Lex Luthor. So if you put that in today, he wouldn't be very interesting, because if he just started off today, he wouldn't have all the things that make him interesting. So when you create a character today, those are all the things you have to add. You have to have a strong villain. You have to have a backstory. You have to have a weakness. You have to be a flawed character. So it's just very, very hard to create something to an audience that knows things that are 50 and 60 and 70 years old and you're coming with something brand new. But my theory was to make my character have all the things that the characters of old that you love. So that way when you read this book, you see all that type of stuff. You see the flawed character, you see the history, you see the strong villain, you see all these type of things. So that's why one of the reasons it took so long to create it. Now for people who don't know, like as I mentioned earlier, you know, you are a television director. Absolutely. What are some of the programs you've done? Um, I've done probably about 175 episodes of television for Nickelodeon and Disney Channel. I just did uh, Undateable for NBC. I did the pilot to Mighty Mad that's on Disney XD in the second, se second season. And the pilot to Kicking It, which is on Disney XD that just completed its four-year run. Um, I started directing That's So Raven. Uh, um, that's where I started directing. And moved on from there and have done Audit Hathaways. Uh, I'm getting ready to do The Thundermans. Uh, I did Good Luck Charlie. Um, Gosh, I did Sweet Life with Zach and Cody and Sweet Life on Deck. Like a lot of shows that kids have watched and grown up on. So at the end of the day, obviously, you know, you still have a day job. You're still doing this. For anybody who wants to pick up your comic book, what's a good reason to pick it up? It's exciting. It's different. It's new. And it's a complete story because it's a graphic novel. It's three books. Uh, we're selling them here at Comic-Con as an exclusive, but they officially come out in October, December, and February of next year. And there's a lot of twists and turns. They're written in a in a mini series type of form there's no uh, the, the, no the characters don't have any internal monologue everything is a visual everything is something that you see or they say so they're written in a different way than say normal a normal graphic novel they're written like something you would watch on tv because that's the genre that i come from well it's good talking here we're going to try to do our best to promote it just thank do you. well when we'll talk to you next down down the road thank you thanks thanks for that